Hey there, you cool cats and kittens. Wrong vlog. Welcome back. I'm Ashley Sue. Here we talk about BTS, mental health, and midlife. Though today, all of us midlifers are going back to our teen years. We're going to discuss teen angst by Bang Tan. So today we're going to do boy in love and danger. Oh, war of hormone. Danger. War of hormone. Danger. Is danger about girls? Because I know war of hormone is. Should we knock three out? Have you guys watched these old videos before? I was introduced to them as grown men and now to look back at them as young men, boys even, figuring out who they are and carving their way into this world a bit. They really, really were back then and they did it so publicly even though many of us still did not know who they were. We know now. I was kind of lamenting in my no and bulletproof part two. I was saying I only watched the videos on HYBE so that the boys get full coin instead of 1k. But there are no closed captions in English on HYBE. And then somebody in the comments was kind enough, thank you, to tell me that 1k has, has English captions. So they're getting my coin on this one and that is why. All right, so let's hit play. Let's see what the guys are bringing us with boy in love. I've read the translation before. Flowers, the Bangtan second mini logo. High school boys, high school girl. I miss none of that from my own life. Ugh. I do like Namjoon with the platinum hair. Did he just yank a, like, a demo CD out of, or mixtape out of Yoongi's stitch jacket? Is Jen in a locker? <laughs> What's happening? Sweet lines. <laughs> and then you have a, a heavy, you, you just wait. Oh, I love V's voice in this. V is nuts. Look at him. Oh, okay. All of them, except for Jim, in my opinion, are really good at doing anger, except for this. Does anybody else get super hyped when Angry RM comes out to play? He is like the sweet, super peaceful guy. For God's sake, we made a verb out of his name. Namjooning. So when angry Namjoon comes out, I get hyped. Do you get hyped? Am I, am I nuts for that? Look at his face, everything. That was, that's, what, what was happening in that bathroom scene? <laughs> All the guys got summoned by Namjoon. Look at Tay's intense, <laughs> his eyes, his face. Yuki, you are always forever our sugar. Oh my goodness. See, Angry Arm is awesome. They are harassing this girl. So are they all fighting over this girl? They are, it says hold me tight, but they're, they're, so 
Is she yanking them around or are they just frustrated because she hasn't been? Like, are they all just being kind of possessive creeps or has she been yanking them around? You know, I would like to say like, oh, is, did they get flack for this when it came out? Did they get, did they get flack for this being? Except for, this is what high school romances often are like. I actually really like the song. <laughs> the video, I'm, I have a very weird, mixed, confused feelings by because, because of my age, because of the fact that I'm so far removed from relationships like that, that I would not consider it again. Because I'm an American and I don't know what, what the culture climate is like in South Korea or Asia or for most of the world for that matter. And uh, even here where we like to talk a big game about that not being an acceptable way for men to treat women or for relationships to be, it is still really common practice at all levels of dating and relationships and ages here. Is danger a similar vibe? Why is the screen black? There we go. <laughs> I was like, and I love that. I miss that. We all miss that. Hey, this is Tattooing RM who tattooed himself in the wings shorts. Is this tied to the BU? I watched all the BU stuff. Was that tattooing RM or was that... Didn't that scene look like the scene from... Didn't that scene look like the scene from the wing shorts where he tattoos himself? The bird based on, um... Demian? Do I have captures on? I do not. I do. I mean, that hurts in English, but... <laughs> Why am I laughing at this? I really like Platinum Namjoon. I've always liked their style. Swag, as I say. Did you hear J-Hope making fun of the word swag? A couple days ago <laughs> in the permission to dance shooting sketch so it's such an old word some of us are old hobie damn jen that merlot colored hair works on you okay this is I almost feel like this should have come out before, what did we just watch, before Boy in Love? Because this looks like the precursor song of why they are grabbing her by the arm and saying make a decision. Oh, I love this song though. I have looked at the lyrics to this. Imagery is great in this video. I mean, I realize they're still high school age-ish in this, but I like the imagery so much better. I just don't like high school vibes with stuff. Ugh, ugh. Money, not 
Why did that scene suddenly make me want to play basketball? That was really weird. Sorry, I got really silent there. I'm just taking in sugar. Like, I'm, I'm just taking them in. They're kind of in an in-between place here, which is weird because this is still early videos, right? They're clearly very young. <laughs> Why does Jim and Mingy laugh? <laughs> okay, Jungkook looks very young and Jimin looks very young. They all look young. The two of them are the only ones that look high school to me. The rest look 20-ish. So how do you guys feel about a song writing about somebody being in danger for making them confused and frustrating them? I think a very unpopular opinion here possibly. I understand that feeling. I don't think I don't think women who yank people around are immune to being told you're toying with somebody because you think you can and that's not okay. Also, there's a difference between saying you're in danger versus like grabbing someone and slamming them against a the locker. So the imagery in Boy in Love was definitely fierier and more questionable from, especially like I said, an American perspective of a woman in her 40s. These things happen and I get that. And it's not exactly that they were glorifying that. I am rambling. I'm not sure how to process. I love the song. I, I really do love the songs, all of them. Um, now this video I have flat out seen. I know how I feel about it. War of Hormone, have you seen it? Should you watch it because it's the video to judge BTS by? Absolutely not. Each of these are a moment in their lives, their career. War of Hormones filmed after they spent part of a summer in LA shooting American Hustle Life. And the, their mentors here in America really wanted them to chase women. Like really pushed it hard on them that these guys have hormones like everybody else and they really need to be pursuing the women. And then they got home and sort of made war of hormones. So let's enjoy this. This one makes me laugh. I would love to hear again. These are all like... If you're American in particular, I don't know the, the, the political and sexual climate internationally, so you'll have to clear it up for me. I would love to know how people feel about these videos. <laughs> they all have the most ridiculous hair. Except for Namjoon's. I love Namjoon's hair, this color, this cut. I love the style in this video. Be my fan. <laughs> Please wear more high heels. V is so funny in this video. In case you can't tell, I love this video. They got a lot of flack for this one. I don't know if they got flack for Boy in Love or Danger. Particularly, I feel like... I can't believe that War of Hormone got all the flack and that Boy in Love didn't. I knew they, they made apologies after this video. If they had stuck to songs like this and, and so forth, would we love them the way that we love them? Most of us know.
<laughs> Please tell me you just read the lyrics. Oh my god. Talking about his body architecture is making him realize his testosterone is rising. <laughs> <laughs> the song is so almost like annoyingly a perfect moment in time of being a 19 year old man or possibly being a man at any age I don't know um, but I have actually heard people men confirm that this is what it feels like to be 19, 20, 21 years old um Again, if they had made their career off of songs like this, would we love them the way that we do this day? No. I personally think the song and video are completely harmless. Particularly because they did learn something from it on top of everything else. But on top of that, I'm gonna be honest. Army. Particularly you women army, <laughs> us women army. I'm going to call you slash us out. I'm on, I'm on Twitter, Stan, Stan Twitter, whatever it's called. Well, I'm not now, I'm, but I have been because I've been following the charts. And I will say, thirsty. People are thirsty and making comments far worse than any of these about these seven men. So it's hard to hold these men accountable and say, no, it's not okay. They're objectifying women while meanwhile, they are the objects. Now. I'm, I'm pretty equal opportunity on the fact that if, if, if a group can get by with it, then, um, and that's not always true, so I take that back. But in in this case, you know, if we can if if we can talk about Jimin's nipples showing at Tsuwutsu, and I see so many thirst videos about Jungkook and videos about Yoongi moaning, then it's really hard to get mad at them when they were young men earlier in their career making a video about women driving them crazy. To my knowledge, I think I have now finished the the early, the debut years. So we've got No More Dream, We Are World Roof 2, No Boy in Love, Just One Day, Danger, War of Hormone. So we're done. Now we've moved into 2015. I hope you're doing well. This was just a pure reaction, no mental health. Yeah, we'll have some mental health stuff later. We will laugh. We will cry. And I will see you soon. God bless you. I hope that you're smiling today, and if you're having a rough time, know that you don't walk alone. God loves you. I love you. BTS loves you. They want you to love yourself. Is that not real love? And you never walk alone.